This meeting is called to order in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. Notice of this meeting has been sent to the Home News Tribune, the Star Ledger, and the Highland Park Planet on March 19, 2020, and was posted on the bulletin board of Borough Hall, 221 South Fifth Avenue, Highland Park, New Jersey, on March 19, 2020, and has remained continuously posted as required by law. Um, at this point, I'd like um, to go into the Pledge of Allegiance. If you could all join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States of America, America. And to, the to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank Okay, um, Clerk, can you call the roll, please? Mayor Burl Mittler? Here. Councilman Pine? Here. Councilwoman Foster Dublin? Yes. Councilman yes. George? Councilman Hale? Here. Councilwoman Kim Johan? Here. Councilwoman Welkovich? We lost her. For our attorney? <laughs> for administrator. Wait, did you guys get Susie? I got you. Thank you. And Terry is here. <laughs> okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to go over a few basic housekeeping items since we are using a new meeting platform. First, please, if you are not speaking, Mute your phone to help eliminate any background noises. Secondly, um, a recording of the proceedings will be made available via HPTV. Um, may I have a motion to approve the minutes of the regular and conference meetings of October 29th, 2019 as distributed? Okay. So moved. Second. Can I have a second? Okay. Roll call, please. Councilman Fine. Yes. Councilwoman Foster Dublin. Yes. Councilman Hale. Yes. Councilwoman Kim Chohan. Yes. Councilwoman Welkovitz. Yes. Okay. Normally, at this point, we would go into individual council reports, but given the circumstances, council members have agreed to yield their time in order to uh, allow me to offer a mayor's report that focuses on matters related to COVID-19 health issues, and uh, a couple of our council people also gave me information they wanted me to report on, so I will do that. Um, but first, Borough Administrator, do you have a report? I do not. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Borough Attorney, are you on the line? I'm on the line. No report. Okay. And now I'll go into my report. On behalf of the entire Borough, I thank the dozen plus members of the Borough's COVID-19 Task Force who've been working incredibly hard with me these past two weeks. This group is composed of leaders of all our first responder groups, first aid, fire and police, our public schools, the library, recreation, DPW and code enforcement, our health inspector, myself and the borough administrator, and our communication staff. The group meets daily in a 9 a.m. conference call and coordinates the borough's response to the coronavirus pan pandemic that has impacted the world and has gained a foothold in New Jersey. We are very fortunate to have our emergency management coordinator, Mr. Jim Polos, a former county freeholder and former Highland Park mayor at the helm of this group. Jim has attended over 24 hours of training annually to prepare for this role <laughs> and his leadership demonstrates his skill and sage grasp of the situation. 
I'm very grateful to Jim and all the members of the task force for their service at this time. I'm pleased also to announce the launch of the borough's new civilian outreach program exercise, otherwise known as COPE, to address the needs of residents who are most vulnerable during the state of emergency. The COPE volunteers will draw on the experience and expertise of the existing Highland Park Community Emergency Response Team, known as CERT, to lead and coordinate its staff and additional community volunteers. COPE will also benefit from the CERT team's direct links to Middlesex County officials and county-issued best practices dealing with the COVID-19. COPE volunteers will offer the following services to residents. Daily or regular well calls via telephone or internet. Delivery of food, prescriptions, other essential items. Telephone texting or email conversation to promote social interaction. Arranging transport to medical appointments if necessary. Providing support to anyone who may be quarantined. If you need assistance from COPE or know of anyone who does, please email the coordinator at hpcopes at hpboro.com or call 732-819-0052. If you would like to volunteer to provide assistance to participants, please email the OEM deputy coordinators at, at <laughs> G Palumbo, that's G P A L U M B O at H P Burrow.com and J Culver, that's J C U L V E R at H P B O R O.com and provide your name and phone number. Next. Let me remind everyone of the basic precautions put in place by the governor to discourage the spread of the coronavirus in our communities. One, there should be no public gatherings of any kind. Two, you should stay home as much as possible, going out to only get food or essential supplies or to exercise. Three, if you do go out, Practice social distancing by standing at least six feet apart from anyone else. Four, make sure you get enough rest, drink fluids, try to relax, and wash your hands often. While still on the subject of COVID-19, if anyone has questions about the virus, you can call the 24-hour public Middlesex County hotline at 800-222-1222. You can also visit the Middlesex County Office of Health COVID-19 webpage at the following link, www.middlesexcountynj.gov forward slash COVID-19. Also, all borough messages sent out about the COVID-19 situation are available on the following borough website, https slash slash www.hpboro.com forward slash I dash want dash to forward slash important. I want to give a special shout out to Rebecca Hirsch, our Main Street Highland Park Executive Director. She's been disseminating an incredible amount of information about people being laid off and where business owners can go for aid and other information. Please pay attention to Main Street Highland Park's Facebook page, social media posts, and emails. Lastly, I want to end my remarks by taking a moment to acknowledge the economic pain that is rippling through our community. For many, bills are going to be harder to pay, 
including property taxes and water and sewer expenses. The borough is awaiting authorization from the state to extend the tax collection period to allow more time for people to pay. Without that authorization and approval from the state, we must follow the usual payment schedule. I have been in conversations with the governor's office about this nearly daily. It is our understanding that there is a bill under consideration now, and we will be ready to respond once it moves forward and is signed by the governor. Meanwhile, stay healthy, because together we will beat this. Thank you. And now, um, it's time for our first public discussion session. The total time for this session is 21 minutes, three minutes maximum per speaker. Comments should address items on the agenda only. The borough administrator will monitor the time and indicate when three minutes have lapsed. Here's how we're going to handle this, given that we can't see the audience. If you would like to speak, please, quote unquote, raise your hand by pressing star nine on your phone keypad. The borough administrator will announce your turn by reading out the last four digits of your phone number. Please begin by telling us your first and last name as well as your address. And please keep your phones muted if you are not speaking. Again, if you would like to speak about a topic on the agenda for tonight, please press star nine now. Borough Administrator, please announce our first speaker if there is one. Mayor, I'm not seeing any quote unquote hands raised. I actually get a little hand symbol on my screen um, at the moment, but if you don't mind, could we give people another minute to try to figure out how this is gonna work. Again, you press star nine on your phone keypad and you should be able to, actually I'm, I'm seeing I have a hand raised. Um, I will unmute that person. And with the person whose phone number ends in 4257, please do as the mayor instructed and state your name and address. Hello, this is Barbara Vaccarelli at 603 South Third Avenue. And I am very concerned about what we can do as a town and within the county, um, as it's been announced today that the president wants the country opened. And it's very disconcerting to me. Um, because if people are reading that and believing it and listening to it, we're going to see a lot more people out and not observing social distancing. Well, first of all, Barbara, thank you for your question. Um, we do have to find, follow the guidelines of the uh, governor and the state of New Jersey. Um, and uh, right now, I know I saw those same news announcements you did. Um, that's what the president is saying he would like to see, but um, we don't know exactly what, what he's going to wind up doing when he does make any decrees. But as for now, we are under the jurisdiction of this uh, governor and the state of New Jersey, and we're following his guidelines. I will tell you that our police have been um, asked to uh, keep an eye on places where people might be gathering, such as um, parks and sports complexes, to make sure that people are not um, being um, uh, not not following the guidelines and and not taking enough care about their neighbors. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say I have friends in Europe who are warning us, and I'm sure some of you do as well, as well as friends on the West Coast, and they acted pretty quickly with the stay at home. And you know, I just wish everyone the best, and thank you for having this meeting. Thank you. Terry, is there anyone else? I'm looking. 
I do not see any. One last shot at a star nine if anybody else wants to speak. I will look for your raised hand. <laughs> Mayor, I don't see any. Okay, then I'm going to move on. Uh, next item on our agenda um, is um, a resolution to approve the emergency temporary appropriation. May I have a motion to adopt or reject? Motion to adopt. Do I have a second? Yes, second. I would have okay. been a first, but I couldn't get unmuted. <laughs> okay. Uh, ro roll call, please. Councilman Fine? Yes. Councilwoman Foster Dublin? Yes. Councilman Hale? Yes. Councilwoman Kim Chohan? Yes. Councilwoman Welkovic? Yes. Okay, clerk, could you please report on advertising 433 Cleveland Avenue? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Could you please report on advertising 433 Cleveland Avenue redevelopment plan for consideration of passage on final reading by title? Do you need me to read it or are you going to just table it? I would like to make a motion if we could continue this. This is uh, Councilman Hale. We need to continue this for another week if we can, um, or another, another meeting. So I'd like to and make this, a motion to continue this. And this is Susie, I'd like to second that. Okay. Um, then may I have a motion to accept the tabling of this um, item? Yes, this is Susie. May I second that, please? Yes. May I have, so, so um, uh, clerk, Will we do a roll call or you know, all in favor to move this to the next meeting? I'll defer to the borough attorney. Well, he's here. All in favor is fine. You should announce the meeting is April 7th. Yes. Okay. All right. Then um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Moving on to the consent agenda, may I have a motion to adopt um, items number 11 through 22? Motion to adopt. Second. Roll call, please. Councilman Fine. Yes. Councilwoman Foster Dublin. Yes. Councilman Hale. Yes. Councilwoman Kim Chohan. Yes. Councilwoman, welcome in. Yes. Okay, it's now time for the second public discussion session. Each speaker has three minutes, but may comment on any topic. The borough administrator, again, will monitor the time and indicate when three minutes have lapsed. The session will wrap, have to wrap up by 9 p.m. Similar to the last public discussion, if you would like to speak, Please raise your hand by addressing star nine, by pressing star nine, and the borough administrator will announce your turn by reading out the last four digits of your phone number. Please begin by telling us your first name and your last name, as well as your address. And please keep your phones muted if you are not speaking. Again, if you would like to speak, please press star nine. I do not see any hands raised yet. Let's just give folks another second to hit star nine, should they desire. I do not see any hands raised, Mayor. Okay, so normally now we would go into a short recess prior to the work session and discussion. Given the meeting format, we have decided Close the meeting now. May I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Second. Okay. Roll call. All in favor. Okay. All Aye. in favor. Aye. Aye. 
Okay, thank you all very much. This audio meeting is now adjourned. Good night. Our next <laughs> meeting is April 7th. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.